One of my first memories of making artwork is creating a self-portrait in kindergarten. And I remember being very proud of it because other kids were coming to me for help on their self-portraits. And it was really fun to learn that the thing I enjoyed doing, I was actually good at. There's this Andre Tarkovsky quote that really resonates with me. And I think about it often while I'm making work because it speaks to the idea of the importance of change and the ability to be pliant and flexible and how that can help foster creativity if you remain open to the world and to ideas as a child would. And I think vellum as a medium very much mimics that because using transparency vellum layers, I'm able to move things around and be looking at them through different perspectives and through the light and changing layers. So it's a very flexible, forgiving material. Every time I go to my studio space, I'm going there to recharge and have time to think in solitude. So I'm illustrating these inner dialogues that I'm having, and I do that through these sort of otherworldly fantasy landscapes, characters, and through my patterning and repetition, I'm able to let go of all thought and really open up to a stream of consciousness and in a sense I'm able to really exist in these spaces that I'm creating in my artwork. The characters exist within these spaces to make them feel habitable and can act as a type of mirror. I see them in the space as I would see myself. These ethereal places are also a place where I can tell stories that are informed by natural history, science, religion. It's important to weave in those ideas together. In that way, there's something more tangible for people to relate to when looking at my work. A big theme that's appeared in my work is twins or doppelgangers, repetition. I think part of that is because I have a twin brother who I have felt very close to in the past, but our relationship has changed in many ways since he has pursued a spiritual path as a Hindu monk. So at first I was really resistant to this change, but through art making I began to realize that although we were very distant, we were both partaking in a sort of meditation and we both had our own altars and my altar is my studio space. I no longer feel the same sense of loss that I once did, knowing that we're partaking in similar rituals in our daily lives. My name is Madeline Waits, and I explore the self and its changes through illustration and painting.